Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial as we continue to look at the tools for changing shape layers. One of my favourite now, very easy to use. I've got a shape layer, I've got four items on my shape layer as created before and I've selected the layer so whatever I apply now will go at the bottom of my stack and affect everything above it. So I'm going to click Add, I'm going to click Pucker and Bloat and instantly there are changes. Now Pucker and Bloat has got one item to it. You open it up and you pull it down to negative values and you can pucker something and you pull it to positive values and you can bloat something out. I believe that's the right way so we're puckering it down to negative values and bloating it up and of course as before we can change its position to show what layers are affected so if I grab hold of pucker and bloat and drag it above the shape layers one two three so just below the polystar just the polystar is affected and again if I pull it down I can affect just two items or three items or whatever you like so pucker and bloat are very easy to use very powerful bear in mind of course if you hold the shift key and pull it you can go to extremes very very quickly if you want to have some fairly weird and wacky results or if you hold the control or the command key and pull it it only changes very very little at a time so just remember you have those options for minor changes with the control key or the command key but big changes by holding the shift key and dragging it up and down to create all kinds of weird and wacky looks so that's pucker and bloat very easy to use next up we're going to be looking at the repeater which is one of the most powerful features and actually a little bit more complex than some of the others in shape layers my name's andrew Davis, and thank you for watching mm -hmm.